to do is show how to do a conditioned emotional response. This dog has had a little bit already, um, but the most important thing is that the dog have the experience of the gentle leader first and then something really, really potently good afterwards. First she sees the gentle leader, it comes out first, and then she's given the really tasty cheese. The idea is to have a Pavlovian emotional response. The gentle leader means cheese is coming next. It's a predictor of cheese. Just like leashes come to predict walks, at first, to get her used to it, the gentle leader will predict cheese, and later on, it'll predict walks, because that will come out when she's going to get a walk. Oh, Bobby, it's the gentle leader. The next step would be to see if we can get her to target it, and she's already doing that a little bit. Even if I hold the cheese here, she will target the gentle leader in order to get the cheese, which firms up in my mind that for her the gentle leader is good news. She's going out of her way to target it. I'm now going to feed her a little bit through the nose loop, just so she gets used to the sensation of it on her nose. If she tries to go around, she just simply won't get anything. Now if she goes through, she gets cheese. The more the dog can be an active participant, the better, because she can then gauge for herself how much pressure she's happy putting, which is such a key part of desensitization that the dog go at their own pace. Then I'm going to do just the neck part. So I'm just going to put it on as though it were a high-fitting collar. On this goes, as you can see, it's on. And it's on quite loosely, more loosely than it will be when it's being used. But I do want her to experience at reduced intensity, the neck part, just for one trial. And that that also is a cheese predictor. Oh, she says, show me the gentle leader. Oh, yeah, she, she, she's I'm all over that thing. All over that thing. Oh, she's all over it. We'll go buffy. We'll put you a little milk and cold buffy. But just a few hours later, slightly less distracting environment and much keener. So starting to see the performance that we were hoping for before. So she's wearing the GL. This is great. This is only the second time she's ever had it on her face. And this is not a dog who would cope at all with it being just stuck on. But just spending the, those two short five-minute sessions, having her target it, showing it to her, building up a conditioned emotional response, she's now quite merrily chomping on this beef jerky and seems to not be worrying at it. So now I'm going to do a pause. So I take it off. It's got to be uncanny. <gasps> there it is. Do you see her brighten up? When I took up the GL, she visibly brightened up. She stood and she thrust her nose into it. And this is just her third ever session of about five minutes duration. That's why I like, really like to put myself in a position of, if you're good, I'll put the gentle leader on. Hmm? And of course, once she's desensitized and she's comfortable wearing it, the gentle leader will be taken out naturally to go on walks, and that will become a nice association. So if you're good, if you're good. OK. OK, you can put it on. You want to put it on? Come on, Chartine. Okay, there we go. And she says, okay, put it on. So she's freely requesting that I put it on. So we've got it on at near full intensity. On it goes. Blow starts. Quite a good ball fight. Again, off it comes. For the very last round, I'm going to put it at absolutely user, normal user intensity, which is going to be the one finger, barely one finger tightness around the neck, which for her is unheard of for this dog to wear something this snug. We're on our little pause period now. Our pause that refreshes, that reminds her that the training setup is not responsible for treats. The bait pouch is not responsible for treats. What's the predictor of treats? It's <gasps> the gentle leader. And she just puts her little nose in. And this time it's going on full throttle. It's at full intensity. So not only does she tolerate her gentle leader, she actually likes it. And that's the payoff for the patience of doing desensitization. It actually took me 
less time to desensitize this dog for a gentle leader, which will last her the rest of her life, than it take, took me to brush her out this morning. R.K. Anderson, epidemiologist who has seen, how many thousands of dogs do you reckon? Many. Over like 50 years? And you think this dog is what? I would say she's a genius. Buffy is a genius. She's a very good Buffy cow. <laughs>